Hello guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can pass AI content detector. So you've created your content using chat GPT. And now you're worried that your content might get flagged or it might not rank on Google. Actually, for the matter of fact, right, this website here, I've already made some videos in regards to this website. I created most of the content on this website using chat GPT. And I did not rewrite any of the content, just straight from um, chat GPT onto the website. And I made a video not too long ago that showed you guys one of the content actually ranking the number one spot on Google. And it was actually generated using chat GPT. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get 100% or 80 to 90% human generated content using chat GPT and Grammarly. So. The content we are going to be using they have already generated iPhone 13 Pro Max features and specs. So in terms of the keywords, so this is the key. So I wrote a simple prompt for chat GPT, chat GPT yesterday to create a keyword cluster. This is the, um, the prompt here. I made a video about that if you guys do want to check that out. So I've created this cluster because I'm ranking for this um, keywords here. I wanted to push that to number one spot on Google. As you can see, the volume is 27,000. So I want to try and get to the top spot for this keyword. So I've created a keyword cluster here. And now I need to try and make all this content here relating to the initial content that I'm trying to rank for. And today's video, I'm going to be creating content for the iPhone 13 Pro Max features. So I've already went ahead and created the content using ChatGPT. This is the content here. And what I will do, I will copy the content here. I'll just copy it all the way to conclusion. I'll copy it, go to open AI classifier and I'll paste our content here and then I submit. As you can see, it says it here, classifier considered the text to be possibly AI generated. So that's not what we want. So let's try and change that. Okay. Using chat GPT. So what I will do, I'll copy the content, right? I'll open up a new chat and then what I will do, if you go to, so by the way, this is a, um, this is a chat GPT Chrome extension that I'm using. I've already made a video about this. If you guys do want to add that to your chat GPT. So I'm going to be using one of the prompt here, ask AI content detector test. I'll click on it like so. And then what I will do, I'll paste our content here and I'll press enter. And then we'll let chat GPT take care of the rest. This is the finished content here. As you can see some of this subheading here, I'll probably change some of the subheadings and replace it with the initial subheading that we provided. So I'll just quickly copy everything from here. Copy it and then head over to AI text classifier again. Now delete everything on there, the initial one. And I'll paste it here and I'll submit. As you can see, the classifier considered the text to be unlikely AI generated exactly where we want to be. So these are the labels here. You either get very unlikely, unlikely, unclear, possibly, or likely AI generated. So we're more than 80% human generated content. So again, I don't see how this can get flagged on Google. And what I would do, I'll check it on another AI content detector here. So we out of characters. So I will just delete some of these here. I'll delete up to here. Oh, so this is a little bit more. I get rid of those and a bit more. Let's get to this bit. Perfect. As you can see, it's analyzed text. Eighty-seven percent human generated content. So my next step is I would copy everything here and then take it to Grammarly where I can then change what I'll do. I'll quickly get rid of these. Then I'll paste my content here. Right. And then what I would do, 
I still want to keep the initial. I still want to keep the initial headings, subheadings here. So I will just replace it with what we have at the moment, as well as correcting any little grammar errors here and there. And also, Grammarly can rephrase some of the text as well. But we're not going to be doing too much rephrasing. So what I'm just going to do is clean up the text a little bit to make it more presentable. Right. Give me a moment. Right, this is the finished content here. So what I will just quickly do again, I'll copy it and then place it back and then paste it back into, into the classifier and see if this course still remains the same. Right, copy. See, text is unlikely AI generated. So that's how you pass AI content detector. Very easy, very simple. You don't need any other additional tools like I've seen other people rephrasing all this stuff here and there. And if you are worried, if you are worried about your content being generated using chat GPT, I wouldn't worry too much because as I said, most of the keywords on here, most of the content on here for this website has been generated using chat GPT content. And already we can see some improvement you know, as you can see, organic traffic 4,400 and organic keywords 1,500. And already we are ranking some of the actual content on Google First Page, including featured snippets. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. So, what you can do, try to diversify in terms of your content. If you're using Chat GPT to create some content, try to hire someone on Fiverr, Upwork to create some of the content as well. Or if you're a content creator yourself, just write it yourself as well. So that way you have mixed human generated content as well as AI. So in case if something does happen in the future, at least you've still got some human generated content on your website. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I upload every single day. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, put your comment down below. And if you found anything that I've showed you today interesting, make sure you do subscribe because I've got plenty more coming. Thank you guys very much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.